Pfizer officially requesting emergency authorization for its shots for its kids ages 5 to 11. Good evening, I'm Elizabeth Cook. I'm Alan Martin. CBS reporter Julie Watts gets the latest on what Pfizer's request means for California school children. So that things can return back to normal. Eight-year-old Joshua was among the 2,268 kids ages 5 to 11 that participated in Pfizer's COVID vaccine trial. Pfizer said their dose was about a third of the dose for adults, but in the trial, kids had a similar antibody response. Today's announcement is the next step. Pfizer is formally asking to make it available to all kids in that age group on an emergency use basis. Now, the initial trial was relatively small, fewer than 2,500 kids, but once the FDA gives emergency use authorization, Pfizer will collect more data before submitting for full FDA approval. Now keep in mind, the vaccine still doesn't have full approval for kids 12 to 15, a key mile marker for California's school vaccine mandate. We intend to do that once the FDA has fully approved the vaccine. As the governor explained, kids won't be required to get vaccinated until the vaccine has full approval for kids 12 to 15. So when can your kids get it and when might they have to get it? Let's break it down. The vaccine already has full FDA approval for kids 16 and older, but only has emergency use authorization for kids 12 to 15. Pfizer is expected to request full approval for that age group by the end of the year, and the FDA is expected to move quickly. So the school vaccine mandate for kids 12 and older won't take effect until January at the earliest, but it could be as late as July. As for the 5 to 11 year olds, the FDA said it hopes to meet by the end of the month to consider the emergency use authorization, but it could be months before Pfizer is even ready to submit for full FDA approval for the younger kids. That's Julie Watts reporting. Now, currently, state law allows for a personal belief exemption for vaccines, meaning parents could choose not to get it, but there's been a lot of talk about amending that law to prevent that.